So in our last video, we talked about uh, tracking improvement through using a progress graph. Now I'm going to go a bit more in depth about how we track that progress using key movement tests. When a client comes into our clinic with a condition, say for example a shoulder injury, uh, there's certain things they can and can't do. Based on that, we pick tests that relate to that function or condition that they're having and we use those to track objective improvement in their condition to get to their goals. This is more reliable, we find, than the report of pain. And so we really focus on these with the client. So I'm going to use an example and I'm going to continue with the shoulder condition and I'm going to use Graham as my, uh, my client. And so when someone comes in with the shoulder condition, we test a few movements uh, forward, out to the side. For the purposes of today, I'm just going to assess one movement and it's going to be hand behind the back. The reason I'm choosing this, it relates to the condition. So Graham's having trouble getting his wallet from his back pocket, tucking his shirt in behind into his pants. And so this is something that uh, will be very relevant to his function. And so how I test that is I put my hands on to feel what these muscles are doing. And at the moment, they're nice, soft and relaxed as they should be. I'm gonna get Graham to bring his hand behind his back and I'm gonna stop him there. And the reason I'm stopping him there is because I'm feeling this muscle now uh, tense up and guard against the movement and relax back down. And see, I'm not asking him to stop when he feels the pain. I'm stopping him when I feel this pop up because as I said, this is an objective test. And so if he does it again, bring the arm up and stop there. It tightens up at the same point and relax back down. And so what I would use this uh, to do is after treating Graham's shoulder, I would then reassess this to see when the guarding came on. Does it change? Does it come on later? Can he bring his hand up further up his back? Those are all things that indicate to us that he's making good objective change.